Hey, it's Rob from Sound Theory and in this short video tutorial I'm going to show you how to record a basic podcast using the free Audacity software for a Mac computer. So once you've downloaded and installed the Audacity software you should have a screen that looks something like this. You want to begin by creating a new session. So go to the file menu then click new and that's created a new session for you. To begin with you're interested in one of these six transport buttons in the top left hand corner of your screen. The one with the red circle is your record button and we begin by pressing that to record some audio using the Max built-in input which is selected from this drop down menu here next to the microphone icon. This is a test. We then use the yellow square stop transport button to stop recording. As you can see when the Audacity software was recording your words will appear as a waveform in this block. Now there's some extra sound and noise that we might not want in our podcast so you want to use the selection tool at the top of your screen there and select the audio that you do want and then click the trim audio button which removes the extra audio that you don't want. You can then use the time shift tool to move your audio along the timeline. So if we move this audio back to the beginning and then use the skip to start transport button, that will take us to the beginning. We hit the green triangle, which is the play button. This is a test. And we hear the audio coming out of the MacBook computer. Notice the output is selected to the built-in output. That means that any audio played from Audacity will come from the MacBooks, computer speakers, or from the headphones if they're plugged in. Okay, so we're gonna use the time shift tool to move this audio because something that you might want to do is import your own music as an outro or as an intro for your podcast. So to do that, you go to the file menu and then you select the import function and then click audio. And here's a music file I prepared earlier. So I've just select that and then click open. We accept this warning, which suggests that we're gonna make a copy of the file before editing. So if we do any editing of that music file in Audacity, it won't harm the original file. Click okay to that. And as you can see, Audacity automatically imports that audio onto a separate track. When you're playing back through Audacity, they'll all get played together. So as we can see, our screen's getting a little bit cluttered there. So you can use the zoom tool, which is this button at the top of the screen here, to zoom out. Left click to zoom in, right click to zoom out. So we'll zoom out to that scale for now. And we'll just use the time shift tool to move that voice audio along towards the end of that music. So if we click on the transport bar there, we can see that our intro music plays into our audio. Now, the final thing you might like to do with your basic podcast is export to MP3. Before you do that, you'll need to download the Lame Encoder from lame.sourceforge.net. That then gives you the option to export your file as an MP3. And you can do that by clicking on the file menu, clicking export, and then selecting format mp3 at the bottom of the dialog box. So we'll call that Audacity Tutorial MP3. And then we'll just click Save. And it says your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file, which is exactly what you want. So click OK to that. You can enter some information here if you wish to. I'll leave that blank for now. And then we click OK, an MP3 file. For more tips and tricks, visit www.soundtheory.co.uk.